Zimbabwe's Electoral Commission says President Emerson Mnangagwa has won Monday's election as the ruling party maintains control of the government in the first vote after the fall of longtime leader Robert Mugabe. The opposition is almost certain to challenge the results in the courts or in the streets. Menangagwa received 50.8% of the vote while main opposition challenger Nelson Kamiza received 44.3% in the poll, the first since the fall of longtime leader Robert Mugabe. While Election Day was peaceful in a break from the past, deadly violence on Wednesday against people protesting alleged vote rigging reminded many Zimbabweans of the decades of military-backed repression under Mugabe. Zimbabwean President Emerson Mnangagwa, photo, AP, Western election observers who were banned in previous votes have expressed concern at the military's excessive force in the capital, Harare. Their assessments of the election are crucial to the lifting of international sanctions on a country whose economy collapsed years ago. People light fires in the streets during a protest against polling results in Harare, Zimbabwe, the 1st of August 2018, issued the 2nd of August 2018. The day saw protests turn violent when police fired rubber bullets and tear gas before the army was called in and began firing live rounds. EPA, YESHIELPANCHIA shortly before the announcement early Friday, a man who said he was the chief agent with Kamiza's opposition alliance claimed that they had not signed the election results and rejected them. Police asked him to step aside. A newspaper vendor offers daily newspapers with headlines regarding the protests in Harare, Zimbabwe, the 2nd of August 2018 on the day after violent protests in the Zimbabwean capital. Media reports say that at least three people were killed during protests after Zimbabwe National Army soldiers fired live bullets at protesters whom were believed to be supporters of the MDC. Oppositional MDC leader Nelson Kamiza was quoted as having called the 30th of July election rigged. Zimbabwe held its first post-Mugabe era elections for president, parliament and local councils on the 30th of July. EPA, Aaron Ufumela's death toll from street clashes Wednesday rose to six, with 14 injured police said, and 18 people were arrested at the offices of the main opposition party amid tensions over a vote that was supposed to restore trust in Zimbabwe after decades of rule by Robert Mugabe. There were conflicting accounts of who was responsible for the bloodshed in the capital of Harare, which followed opposition protests of alleged vote rigging. Police tried to disperse angry crowds with tear gas and water cannons, and then soldiers fired live rounds. Riot police raid the opposition movement for democratic change, MDC, headquarters in Harare Thursday, August 2, 2018. MDC leader Nelson Kamiza says police have raided the headquarters and seized computers, while police say 18 people there were arrested. The developments come a few hours before the Electoral Commission is expected to start releasing the results of Monday's presidential election. AP photo, Mujahid Safodian, while the military has been criticized for the crackdown, police spokeswoman Charity Charamba blamed rioters, saying some were drunk and that they destroyed eight cars and 22 shops. About 4,000 opposition supporters, some carrying iron bars and stones, were besieging downtown Harare, she said. President Emerson Mnangagwa and his ruling ZANU PF party also accused the opposition of inciting the violence. The opposition, human rights activists, and international election observers condemned the excessive force used against protesters and appealed to all sides to exercise restraint. The Zimbabwe Electoral Commission said it will start announcing results of Monday's presidential election at 10 p.m. 2000 GMT, 4 p.m. Eastern Daylight Saving Time, though by law it has five days to deliver the final tally. It has sometimes given conflicting statements about when it is releasing information. International election observers urged the commission to reveal the presidential results as soon as possible, saying delays will increase speculation about vote rigging. Meanwhile, police raided the Movement for Democratic Change Party headquarters of the main opposition candidate, Nelson Kamiza.
A lawyer's group said he was being investigated by police for allegedly inciting violence. People gather around a fire on the street during a protest against polling results in Harare, Zimbabwe, the 1st of August 2018, issued the 2nd of August 2018. The day saw protests turn violent when police fired rubber bullets and tear gas before the army was called in and began firing live rounds. EPA, YESHIEL Panchi Ajamiza, opposition politician Tendai Bidi and several others are suspected of the crimes of possession of dangerous weapons and public violence, according to a copy of a search warrant, which was seen by the Associated Press. The warrant authorizes police to search for and confiscate any evidence as part of their investigation. The authenticity of the warrant was confirmed by Kumbarai Mifunda, a spokesman for Zimbabwe Lawyers for Human Rights. Police patrol outside the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission offices in Harare, Zimbabwe, Wednesday, August 1, 2018. Zimbabwe's ruling party has won a majority of seats in parliament according to results announced Wednesday, but the results of the presidential vote have not yet been declared Thursday, August. 2, 2018. AP photo, Svingere Mukwasi, Kamiza, however, said the police who raided his headquarters and seized computers were looking for what he called evidence of vote rigging. The evidence already had been moved to a safe house, he said. Opposition demonstrations had broken out after electoral officials said the ruling party had won a parliamentary majority in the elections, and Paul Mangana, a ZANU PF spokesman, told a news conference he anticipated similar success in the presidential race. Elsewhere in Harare, Kamiza said he was confident that his MDC party would be forming the next government. As the rival camp sparred over the outcome, they also appealed for calm. Menangagwa said his government was in touch with Kamiza to try to ease tensions, although the opposition leader said he had not received any communication. A man gestures during a protest against polling results in Harare, Zimbabwe, the 1st of August 2018, issued the 2nd of August 2018. The day saw protests turn violent when police fired rubber bullets and tear gas before the army was called in and began firing live rounds. EPA, YESHIEL Panchaya during the 37-year rule by Mugabe, who resigned in November under military pressure, elections were marked by violence against the opposition and alleged fraud, and international sanctions were imposed on Zimbabwe as a result. A credible vote is crucial to the lifting of the sanctions so that the collapsed economy can recover. Monday's balloting was called free and fair by the Electoral Commission. The European Union Observer Mission expressed serious concerns as representatives of Western and other groups gave their first assessments of the election. Former Liberian leader Ellen Johnson Sirleaf, the lead observer of a U.S. monitoring mission, also had expressed concern about delays in announcing results, saying that the longer it went on, the more it calls into question the population's confidence in the election process. Menangagwa, who is close to the military, called for an independent investigation into the riots, saying those responsible should be identified and brought to justice. The military deployment was the first time that soldiers had appeared in the streets of the capital since Mugabe's resignation. At that time, thousands of jubilant residents welcomed their presence. Some Harare residents expressed frustration and exhaustion at the violence. We are a peaceful nation, said 29-year-old Cephas Gavanga. We don't deserve the death we saw. Copyright 9 Digital Thai Limited 2018